So the positive stuff here. Uh, one, cancer therapy. So, uh, can use various types of radiation depending on the cancer. Uh, and you're directing it right at the cancer. So you're trying to be specific, though it harms the rest of the body. Often we use gamma rays, highly penetrating. Um, but uh, typically that will kill the cancer cells faster, the malignant cells faster than normal cells. Uh, and, but this is why someone will start to get sick more and more so the more therapy they're getting. So are they, what's going to go first, the person or, or the cancer itself? But it has positive benefits. Second, radioactive tracers. Radioactive tracers. You can study organs uh, with radioactive tracers. Those are, are a, an unstable, uh, isotope that somehow put wherever you want to study and is easily recognizable, uh, much more recognizable than a, a standard isotope. Uh, another example with tracers, I taught you in organic chemistry the different types of spectroscopy. One of those was NMR, similar to getting an MRI. NMR use, uses radioactive isotopes to study chemical compounds and to find their structure. Uh, so carbon-13 NMR is one example of several. <coughs> uh, and those use uh, radioactive tracers as well. They're easy to pick up uh, and measure and detect. And so they make it easy for study. Another type is radiation processing. So basically you can change bonds, you can change things using radiation. So you can clean medical equipment, sanitize essentially, with radiation. Uh, you can, in sewage, you can kill pathogens. So say you have sewage, you want to kill the pathogens, you can run a particular type of radiation that breaks those down. You can preserve food with radiation. So they run the radiation through. By the time you get it, of course, the radiation is completely gone. So uh, just to give you a different kind of example, when I used to do experiments on an X-ray beam in a synchrotron, you could not, uh, there was a chamber in which the X-rays would run, go through, and go through the sample. And of course, you couldn't be in that chamber when the experiment was running because of the radiation. But as soon as you turned off the beam, opened the door, you go in, you can sit on the bench, you can lay on the wall, whatever, and there's no radiation left over. So there's only wall the beam is going is where the concern is. So the same here with the food, you can process food, uh, and then once the radiation is gone, it's safe for human consumption. So radiated material is not radioactive. Um, and just to give you, just to show you just kind of a list of various examples, other examples. Some I've already mentioned, but hydro, uh, tritium is a biochemical uh, tracer. Carbon-14, dating of artifacts, dating of rocks, also with potassium. We didn't talk about that. Um, various tracers, radiation treatment that you see here. Lots of different possibilities. So. Uh, there's a lot of things, positive things you can do with nuclear chemistry uh, that, you know, doesn't kill the sort of life that you want to kill.